Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video, we're here at the gym and I thought I'd take you guys through the barbell hip thrust versus the smith machine hip thrust versus the hip thrust machine and go through all of the pros and the cons of each one of them. Okay, so let's get straight on into the video. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and let's get straight on into it. Okay, so the very first exercise I'm going to be starting with is the barbell hip thrust. So, uh, we talk about the pros and the cons. So, the pros, I think, of the barbell hip thrust are that you can load up the weight, so you can really rack up the weight to go as heavy as you like, really. The next pro is range of motion. So, with the barbell hip thrust, you can actually get far more better range of motion. Better range of motion means you're working the muscle more, so you get more time under tension, therefore you are growing that muscle more with the more time under tension. Another pro of the barbell hip thrust is the fact that you can position it the way you like. So I have my bench set up here just the way I like so you can get your own bench height um, to suit you. And then also the way that it's positioned on you. You're not stuck like you are in a Smith machine. Whereas with a barbell hip thrust you can sort of just position your body the way that you like. of the barbell hip thrust. Okay, so I'm just gonna get into a few sets of the barbell hip thrust and then I'll go into the cons afterwards. Ooh, okay, that felt good. So one of the things that is a pro but also can be a con is the fact that you can position yourself the way you like to. However, because you aren't stuck in a set position, you can sort of have some imbalances there. So for me in particular, I have noticed when I do hip thrust and I have been working on this, is that when I'm setting myself up for a hip thrust, naturally my right foot comes a little bit ahead of my left foot. So therefore, it's sort of working on my right foot a little bit more hamstrings and the left foot is more glutes. So I have to sort of try and keep focusing on positioning my feet so they're perfectly even with each other. And I think that just comes down to the fact that I do have imbalances in my body. Everybody does, everyone's weaker on one side or stronger on one side. But yeah, it's just making sure you've got good form before you do the exercise because if you want to do every set and you're wonky, of course one side is going to end up growing more than the other or you're going to be finding that your imbalances actually get worse. So anyway, that would be one of the cons. The second con that I'd have to say would be setting up the damn thing. So setting up a barbell hip thrust is an exercise in itself, honestly. It takes so long to set up, rack the weights up, de-rack, um, especially I love to do drop sets so I'm having to lift the weights off all the time and let me tell you it is not fun but yeah it's worth it at the end of the day so that would be probably for me one of the worst cons for that is just de-racking. Okay so those are my pros and my cons of the barbell hip thrust. I'm just going to do a couple more sets. I've just dropped it down to 100 kgs and then I'm just going to strip it right down for a few more drop sets and then I'll get into the Smith Machine hip thrust and the pros and the cons of that one. Okay, so Smith Machine Hip Thrust. The pros for the Smith Machine Hip Thrust will be the fact that you can load up the weights really easily. So you don't need to lift the barbell, you obviously just slide the weights on. And it's just super easy to load up the weights. Another pro with the Smith Machine Hip Thrust is the fact that you don't actually need to use your stabilizer muscles. So it is set in that position for you. So it really means you can focus a lot more on contracting the glute muscles as much as they would be with the barbell hip thrust. So that's another pro, but it can be seen as a con as well because me personally, I do like to work the stabilizer muscles and work that full area. Now the con, the main con for this one is range of motion. So you really can't get that much range of motion with the Smith machine as much as you can with a barbell. So this is because they've got stoppers on the Smith machine which sort of like loses about an inch or two of range of motion right at the bottom. So that basically means that there's a couple of inches more range of motion that you can get with the barbell hip thrust that you can't get with the Smith machine hip thrust. So out of the two that would be why I like the barbell hip thrust better. But if you're looking for something easy, fast and you want to be able to load up the weights easier then Yes, the Smith Machine hip thrust would be a lot easier at doing that. So there's pros and cons for both. Okay, so the last exercise is the hip thrust machine. 
So for this one, out of the three, this would probably be my least favorite one. So most hip thrust machines have like a belt or something that you strap around your stomach and I find that if you are loading up the weight or going heavy, it just really digs into your stomach. This one in particular does it for me. So that would be the biggest con when it comes to the hip thrust machine. Pros for me would be the fact that you can load up the weights easy. Um, however, I tend to not go heavy when I'm doing the hip thrust machine just because of the fact that it hurts so much. So I would do like a single leg variation or just a nice lightweight to finish off my sets if I am using the hip thrust machine. Out of the three variations, this one would probably have to be my least favorite variation just because of the fact that it does hurt a little bit. All right, so we just finished our session. So basically those are the three different variations of hip thrusts. The Smith machine hip thrust, barbell hip thrust, and the hip thrust machine. In my opinion, I would say that the barbell hip thrust is definitely by far my favorite. And my least favorite would be the uh, hip thrust machine. But it is good to mix it up and just try out all different variations. Everybody's different. Everybody feels different exercises are better for them. So give them all a try. Anyway, I'm going to close off this video now. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys.